this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So we're here for another one of our mask making sessions. We're up to number week 144, would you believe? I know I say it every week, but yeah, it's just so shocking. I can't believe we are actually up to that many. So if you are new to my channel, what we are doing, we're doing reruns. So we're week number 144. Uh, rerun in week number 44 and obviously you know this is helpful for anyone who perhaps didn't catch it the first time around or you know if like me maybe your supplies are dwindling and you could just do with making some more of these things so today what we're going to be making is some double um fold over pockets i can't remember now what i actually called them and i only watched the video this morning um but we're making some double over um fold over pockets now if you're planning on making some with me, what I've brought along is I've got A4 paper here. Now, my paper is printables. Obviously, that's because that's what I have most of these days. You don't have to use printables. You can use, you know, I mean, you could just use plain paper if, you know, if you wanted to. You could use sheet music instead. You know, any of the, um, you know, the thinner papers would be fine. You can use scrapbook paper, but I would recommend it's something thinner rather than the thicker you know, more cardstock type um, paper, only because it's going to possibly crack, you know, when you fold them over. And also it's going to bulk your pieces out. And then aside from that, um, you're going to need some book pages. Um, again, you could alternate this. So, you know, you may want to change the look of your pieces. And obviously once we get making, it will become apparent what I'm talking about. But, you know, so long as you've got so, like a combination of book pages, um, pattern pages, maybe sheet music, things like that. Um, and then you can kind of mix in and, you know, have them kind of in the combination that you fancy. So, yeah, other than that, you're going to need some scissors. You're going to need some glue. Uh, you may need a bone folder if you like to work with that. Or, you know, you could just use your scissor handle. I find my scissor handle works absolutely fine. Um, and then you're going to need probably some sort of spreader. I like to just use, you know, like a hotel card or something like that. Um, you know, again, just anything that you find works for you when kind of spreading your glue. And then aside from that, if you want to decorate some up, you might want to have things like Distress Ink and toppers and things like that. Um, but yeah, just kind of, uh, you know, have as much or as little decorating kind of stuff as you, as you fancy. So let's get making one. So I'm going to just take my first piece of paper. Now, like I say, this is just regular copy paper. Um, so, you know, it's reasonably thin. I'm not going to cut it down or anything. I'm going to leave it the size it is. And all I'm going to do is turn it over. Now, the beauty of these, they don't need to be double-sided. Um, you know, don't need to be coffee dyed or anything like that because you're not going to see the insides of them. So all you're going to do is turn it upside down so your pattern is on, you know, the underside. And then you're going to fold them in. Now, what you want to do is just fold them in kind of this type of um ratio now i don't measure or anything so i just kind of judge by eye but you want to kind of have um oh i don't know like yeah just a, a smallish fold one side a bigger fold the other side and then a bigger gap kind of between the two because what we're going to be doing is bringing this one over like this to form our pocket but then we're going to put another sheet of paper in here as another another pocket i hope this is making sense it hopefully will do once we've actually you know once we do some pockets if you see what i mean so just going to take some of my texty page and this is some really lovely old um book page and i'm just going to fold it in half like that and then this is going to be forming like the other pocket if you see what i mean and how gorgeous does that look it's so pretty isn't it so then all you want to do is glue your pieces down. So I haven't used my glue yet today, so it's obviously just needing a little bit of help getting going first thing in the morning. So, well, not that it's first thing, actually. I've had a, a silly morning so far. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll moan about it probably in a minute. But, yeah, it's certainly not first thing. Um, so, yeah, just... Oh. Sorry, just get that cloggy bit to glue out. Right. So you're just going to glue your pocket down together like that. And this is where, of course, you know, you may want to use your um, card to spread your glue or glue spreader of choice. And then you're going to obviously glue the other side down. Now I'm going to just leave this as a full height 
page pocket, if you see what I mean. And what I mean by that is obviously it's the, you know, it's the full size piece of paper. So I haven't cut it down or trimmed it or made it smaller in any way. It is going to be the full height of an A4 page. So I'm just going to alter my camera slightly. So hopefully the view is slightly better. Okay. Hopefully that's a bit better. And then obviously my book page. Now my book page, obviously it's needing a bit of trimming. So I'm just going to trim that top and bottom just so it's a you know, more similar size to the page that I'm working with. And again, I've just judged but you know, that by eye. If it needs a bit more trimming in a minute, that's fine. I can do that in a minute. And then I'm just going to glue that together like that. Okay. Like that. Looking good. And then all you're going to do is obviously glue your book page in and then glue your other folds down. So if I just fold this one down here, for example, then I can gauge a bit better where I want my other pockets. And of course, you know, they don't have to be um, equidistant or anything like that, you know, just exactly kind of as you fancy putting them. So all I'm going to do is apply glue here on my edge glue here on this edge. Now I'm not going to glue this edge because when this goes in here like this, in fact I'm just going to pop that down there and then I can just trim it at the bottom so I might need to, might need to run a bit more glue along here. Um, the reason why I've not glued it here is because now I've got a much larger pocket because actually this pocket's the depth right to this fold. So I can just then get you know, more into that pocket than if I had obviously, you know, glued it at the depth of the book page. I hope that's making sense. It sounds waffly even to my own ears, so I do apologise for that. Um, and then here, along that edge and along that edge there. Okay, so we just then squish those in like that. And then I'm just going to trim mine down here, just where obviously that book page is slightly hanging out. Like that. And that's it. That's all there is to those. And don't they look like a really quite a sophisticated pocket? You know, they've got um, plenty of space because you've got a pocket here, a pocket here. And then when you glue these in, say you glued it this way, so on these three sides, you would then have a pocket here your pocket here and your pocket here. So, I mean, they're providing a lot of space, aren't they? Alternatively, of course, you could actually have these paper clipped in, um, you know, to a journal. So again, you'd have obviously your two pockets there. And then what you could do is put like a sheet of coffee dyed paper or something over the back, which would be then journaling space. Or, you know, I mean, you could add another pocket or something like that to the back. So they're quite a flexible one, I think. And yeah, lots of scope for kind of changing them around. So. That's the first one. So let's run through that again, um, just because, you know, I think it's nice to run through a couple of times so that it becomes more apparent what we're doing. So these two papers, by the way, that I've used, these are just from my cluttered collage papers. And um, yeah, obviously they're available in my Etsy shop. Um, but I just thought these were really nice for this particular project. So let's just decide which way round I might want this. So I'm going to do this one this way round. This is going to throw me off now because... Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of technically doing this like almost left-handed. So yeah, it's going to obviously be obviously be confusing to me. But anyway, let's give it a go. So folding this side down here like that. And then again, just take some texty book page. And I say texty because, you know, I mean, obviously you don't probably want images, you know, in the way of your your pockets basically so yeah that's why I'm kind of using texty book pages only like that and again just trim down at the top you know and you might not have to bother with this it just depends how big your book page is um but yeah my book page just happens to be obviously bigger than the paper itself so of course needed a bit of bit of a helping hand there in trimming it down so squish this down spread my glue out this one here okay 
like that. Okie dokie. Like that. And then, of course, move this over. And I'm just going to then glue this one down here. Okie dokie. Like that. And, yep, spread that glue. Okay, looking good. Right. So, again, just going to kind of like pop this down here and just to kind of see roughly where that fold wants to go. So, maybe kind of about there, like that. Squish that down. Then, all I'm going to do is obviously glue my book page pocket. So, just going to kind of like rest it here while I kind of then see where this line of glue needs to run. Okay, and like that. Okay, so that one, and then this one here, and then a line of glue along here, like that. Oops, please don't be clogged up again. Okay, and then this one here. Oh, right, okay. Like that. So, squish that down. And there. And then again, just going to trim this along the bottom. So like I say, I mean, these are full size um, pages. You know, you can, of course, trim your pages down. They don't have to be full size. I mean, I quite like a variety, you know, some full size, some not. Oh my goodness, I've uh, really mucked up cutting that. It's now a full size, not anything size. It's just wonky. That's all there is to know about that. Just a wonky page. Okay, right. So, yeah. Oops, let me get that bit of glue off there. Oh like that and that's literally all there is to those so yeah let's kind of just mass make a bunch have a bit of a relax and a catch up and um yeah just kind of have a nice time making a bunch of these so I'm just going to go off and grab a wipe hold on okay I'm back so sorry about that I just um I didn't have a wipe and gosh it's really hard um crafting and having that glue seep now and not having anything to wipe it up with so that's that one so and like I say they were both from my collage ugh, cluttered collage papers so for my um, assembly line style, I'm just going to literally do all my folding, I think, first and then kind of, um, yeah, go from there, I think. So I'm just going to fold them down and then fold my book pages and do it that way, I think. So like that. Okay. Okie dokie. So I'm just going to do this with the um, pattern papers first. So this was my Edwardian supper um background paper and this one is from my butterfly butterfly blue um papers so yeah i hope that everybody is having a good start to their week and i know i say this every week i'm just like a scratch record but yeah i film them obviously ahead and i always film my mass making videos on a monday unless for some reason you know i happen to know that i can't for example next weekend is actually bank holiday weekend um and I know that I've talked about this before, but bank holiday over here in the UK, it's just kind of when everything's closed. Traditionally, everything's closed. Um, these days, not so much. This is my um, green labels um, background paper. Uh, yeah, these days, not so much really. So um, it used to be that kind of, yeah, pretty much everything was closed really. I can't even think what would have been open. Maybe, maybe restaurants, I don't know. Um, but these days, to be honest, pretty much everything is open. The only thing really that's not open actually is the bank. So I guess hence the name Bank Holiday, because um, the banks are adamant that they are not going to be opening on the bank holidays. Hello, sweetie pie. Have you come to say hi? Hi. <laughs> what are you up to? Hello. This is my um, English Country Garden papers. Do you want to try and make one with this one? Copy what I'm doing then. You do it there, look. Look, you stand there. You copy what I'm doing. So it's half term holiday this week. So you need to turn it over to the reverse, like that. And then you're folding one in just a small bit. 
like that. And you want to make sure it's really nice and flush at the edge. Then a slightly bigger bit on the other side. Again, like flush with the edge like that. And then you're gonna fold them over like this. And that's your pocket. Aren't they cool? Right. <laughs> it's harder than it looks, isn't it, to get them kind of even. Well, if I like that and then I did it perfectly, that didn't look good. Yeah. These are from my um, Pink Lady background papers. Um, yeah, so it's half term holiday this weekend. Uh, this week, sorry, half term holiday this week. And yeah, it's bank holiday. No, you do your, your first one and glue it together. Yeah? So yeah. I'll do this one in a second. Um, and then it's bank holiday this weekend and the bank holiday is an extended one because um, of the Queen's celebrations. So we're actually having a four day weekend. So we have an extra day. So we've got instead of what's normally the um, you can use that one, sweetie, and, and do that one yourself. Um, I think these are my Barclay Square um, background papers. So it's actually a four day weekend. So it's the bank holidays on the Thursday, Friday. Uh, yeah, the so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So whereas normally you'd get the Monday for a bank holiday weekend, we're not having the Monday this time. It's going to be like, you know, before the weekend. So it's like the Thursday, Friday. Am I saying that right? Yeah, the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so anyway, quite nice having a four-day weekend. So I may have to film my mass making video a bit early, obviously. Um, oh, thank you, darling. Um, might have to actually film a little bit earlier, just because of the bank holiday weekend. So these again are the English Country Garden papers. And please excuse the back, obviously, where I have been printing other things. Um, yeah, so anyway, so the reason it's not really kind of like first thing now, where I would normally come back from the school run and this would be my first thing, is filming my mass making video. But of course, because um, it's school holidays, and this is my uh, Victorian florals, so... Obviously, the printer's not printed this borderless, but to be honest, it doesn't matter because the white bits are going to be hidden. So I can just go straight ahead with this. Um, oh, the printer's been really acting up, hasn't it? So, yeah, since moving into my new craft room, and obviously I showed, you know, on my craft room tool videos, I've got my printers in my craft room now, which was awesome. And I'm so thrilled to have that. However... <laughs> Nothing's ever quite as simple as it seems, is it? I've lost the ability to print altogether. The printer was just constantly jamming. And obviously I've got two printers in here. And they were both constantly jamming. This is more of those green label um, papers. Be careful, darling, because you're getting glue on everything, sweetheart. Um, so, yeah, I've lost the ability to print. Both of my printers literally... They cannot print. They've lost the ability to print. They just jam every single time that they print. You know, just one print and that's it. The printer's jammed. So it's been driving me mad. I mean, obviously at first I was so busy getting the room done. I hadn't tried to be printing anything anyway. And then, of course, since things are calming down, I'm tr then trying to get back on my laptop and, you know, be trying to kind of make more things to be putting in my shop. No, I can't print now. So... Even for this morning's video, I would normally print some background papers to use for today's video. And of course, then I couldn't be printing anything because the printer's not working. So it's very, very, very frustrating, I have to say. And um, yeah, it's just, well, driving me potty. So what I've done, I've cleaned all the printer up and, um, you know, tried to get it kind of like, well, I mean, I don't know whether that could be a potential cause or not. I'm just going to now fold my texty book pages um over so that I've got those ready to use so I don't know whether the potential cause could be that the printer's dirty because of course I you know have been researching it for the last couple of days and um you know potential kind of reasons for constant printer jams are your printer being dirty um 
but of course they couldn't even do like a print clean heads clean the printer heads because of course that wasn't working either it just jams so i had to kind of obviously open the printer out so hence my hands are kind of like ingrained dirt on them now is from the printer toner um you know which you then can't get off very easily and yeah just try and kind of like clean it out manually oh see you okay sweetie be careful because that cable's dragging across the room isn't it yeah. um and so then obviously had to just use um you know wipes and try and clean it that way however since then all that's happened is it's now just printing black and white so although touch wood this is just one of the printers i haven't even tried to tackle the other one yet so touch wood one of them is you know touch wood no longer jamming but he's now no longer printing in color so i have no idea now what to do to try and fix that i don't know why that would happen you know why why would it suddenly stop printing in color i have no idea um but it's very very annoying so uh yeah i just feel like i'm destined to have you know printer problems now can you just pass the glue please sweetie just destined to have printer problems but I mean I'm wondering whether it got very dirty you know like in the move because there was all that dust around and things you know maybe that kind of got inside the printers I don't know I don't know but yeah they're definitely neither one of them are happy they um don't want to print a single thing so yeah I've not had an ability to print for you know several days now which um you know, like I say, at first it was fine because I was actually busy and not really printing anyway. But now that life's calming down and going back to normal, obviously I could do with printing and now I can't print. So I don't know. It's, um, yeah, very frustrating. So I'm just going to glue all of my patterned papers down, I think, first. And then um, glue all the book pages down and then, uh, you know, kind of assemble the pockets. So... Oh, lovely. Very nice. So, yeah, my daughter and I have been out this morning. We've been to the post office and we went to Costa, um, you know, so that we had a nice time whilst doing chores. So we then um, went to, yeah, the post office and Costa and I think that was kind of it really, wasn't it? And then... Um, yeah, we come home, we're obviously doing my mass baking video and then we're meeting up with my friend and her daughter and another little girl from my, my daughter's class and going to, it's called Jungle Gym. Jungle, jungle, jungle Mania. Jung, oh, Jungle Mania. Um, we haven't been there before, but How much money is it's, it? it's um, yeah, it was not very cheap, I have to say. So, uh, yeah, that's why she said that because I was obviously saying, oh gosh, it's not very cheap. Anyway, I'm sure it's fine. But um, yeah, we go in there this afternoon. And um, so I said to her, well, we just quickly go home, you know, mummy do video. And, uh, you know, then we'll go there once I finish my video. So just literally have kind of like an hour to just quickly do this now. But yeah, I don't know really as we've got anything else planned for the half term. So my son, my middle son, he's obviously at school. He's doing his GCSEs at the moment, um, which I know I said this before. These are his like, you know, end of school exams, basically. So, yeah, I mean, he's doing, you know, should be doing revision. But where he works, they've actually put him onto like, or for really a lot of shifts. So he's working today, and he only found out last night because they only released the timetable like on a Sunday night, which obviously that's normally fine because he actually doesn't work then until like the weekend, you know, so it's like Sunday night, but for the following weekend, if you see what I mean. Um, but yeah, they released the timetable last night, which obviously then showed he was working today, so he's working nine till finish, as they refer to it, which I think there's summer hours. I mean, certainly on a Saturday night when he works on a Saturday, nine finishes nine till nine. I'm not sure in the week whether they finish a bit early. Um, it might depend on, you know, how busy they are. So, I mean, I hope really for his sake, he's not going to be working till nine o'clock, but he's on for, 
almost every day this whole holiday. I think he's got tomorrow off and then he's working the whole rest of the week. And I think the only other day he's got off is Sunday. So, um, you know, I did say, well, when are you going to do your revision? But of course, he's very excited to be earning quite a bit of money this week. So, yeah, he's, um, you know, kind of like of the, oh, it's fine. I can, you know, I can still revise. So, uh, yeah, that's what he's doing. So we're not really going to see much of your brother, are we, sweetie? Mm. Which is a bit of a shame because we were saying this morning, you know, because, um, you know, my other son's at work. Obviously, you know, he works full time and, um, yeah him being out as well we were saying how quiet the house was weren't we and we were saying oh it's horrible without them isn't it you know because often one of them is at home um you know one of them at least is at home when we're at home and um yeah it's it's quiet without them isn't it so yeah we're gonna just be doing lots of you know mum and daughter time this week aren't we so that's quite nice so, yeah, and hopefully we might do, like, a few trips to the beach and things. Although, I have to say, the weather's rather deteriorated. Friday, it was absolutely gorgeous. Like, beautiful sunshine. Lovely, lovely, lovely day. Um, I mean, really hot. Really hot. Saturday, it was okay. Um, sunny and bright. Not quite so hot. Well, not, not that hot. Um you know, definitely kind of needed a cardigan outside. Yesterday, uh, oh, yesterday was sort of much breezier. So it started out, it was sunny and bright, and I thought, oh, it's going to be a lovely day. And yeah, it kind of deteriorated a bit from there. So then today, <laughs> it's freezing, <laughs> literally freezing. So when we went out just now, you know, to the post office and then for a Costa, I mean, I just sat the whole time saying how cold it was, to be honest, didn't I? Yeah. Because it was very chilly. So I hope that the whole rest of the week is not going to be like that, because that would be a bit miserable, really, for the half term, wouldn't it? And when you think, I mean, I know normally I'm like, oh, I can't believe it's getting warm already. But now it's kind of like, well, actually, tomorrow's the 1st of June. You know, we should be now getting a bit more summer weather I mean we've had the odd day that's been nice but not not lots of it so my daughter's just trying to show you this holographic paper really cool. so again I came across it obviously when I was clearing my craft room for the move so she's done quite well out of that and accumulated quite a bit of new new craft paper haven't you sweetheart we've given quite a bit of it to the school um so they also you know benefited a bit you made but some yeah for the yeah they made some handbags at school for the queen's jubilee um from some of the papers that we donated didn't you sweetheart so that was really nice wasn't it because um mr ross he was looking at the queen and he thought what could we make and then and he thought maybe because she always brings her handbag around we can, we can make hat, we can make well, and you were learning some little um, secret signs about the handbag, weren't you? Oh, yeah. Do you want to tell what you learned? Because I'd never heard of any of those things before. Well, basically, when she puts her... So this is the Queen. If the Queen... Put her handbag on the ground, that means she wants to be whisked away from the, from, from the conversation. And so if the, if the Queen puts her handbag down on the ground suddenly, it means she's, you know, she's wanting to be rescued from a conversation. So, yeah, I mean, all these little telltale signs. So, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want to be kind of having a meeting with her and then suddenly her, you know, put her handbag down because that would be a sign she's like, Oh, take me away. I've had enough of this conversation. So. <laughs> then, then, then if she puts her handbag on the table, that means she wants to be, that, that she wants, that she wants to be taken away in five minutes. Oh, okay. That's if she wants to be taken away in five minutes. So there's all these little secret codes that her handbag kind of like represents. So, yeah, kind of, um, you'd, you know, if you worked in the palace or anything, you'd have to be learning all these like weird and wonderful things to, you know, represent what she's meaning. We were laughing, weren't we? And saying, wouldn't it be funny if, um, you know, you were a new member of staff and you didn't know the etiquette. 
and she kind of put her her bag down on on the floor you know like meaning I, I want to be rescued and you thought that you were being helpful and just picked her bag back up you know oh, he's a, he's a... yeah and so we were laughing weren't we and saying oh you know that wouldn't be um very good would it, it made a heart you know you'd be uh sacked sacked for you know thinking you'd done the right thing giving her her bag back but actually totally the wrong thing you're actually um causing kind of well i suppose like great events or something i don't know darling spread that in with your fingers now darling yeah okay so yeah and i just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's been so kind about my craft room honestly I'm oh, just flabbergasted as always you all just are so 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 lovely and you know not only were you saying the most lovely things about my room and yeah I just love it in here and so many of you said how much you love my window and yeah really lucky to have such a lovely window and um yeah it's really nice and I know I said this I think before but I mean in the loft I didn't really have a window that I could see out from and um you know it's weird how you don't really notice that these things bother you until then you move to like now and I have got a window and you know being able to kind of just see a bit of life going by it's really nice you know and I kind of think oh actually that you know that wasn't that great not having a window to see from so um yeah just things like that are really um you know really interesting how you just don't notice at the time but then when suddenly you move you think oh actually yeah this is much better so um yeah loving that and obviously it's quite nice because um you know i'm now kind of on the floor you know where like everyone else is which is quite quite good so um yeah it's really great and you know of course i am really 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 trying to make an effort and uh keep everywhere tidy so far i know we're really super early days so i mean how long that's going to last i'm not sure but yeah at the moment you know trying my very best to keep it tidy and um you know because I'm obviously not in such a big space now I can't really afford to be just dropping my rubbish all over the floor and things I mean I'm not saying it was ideal obviously in the loft but you know it wasn't really affecting anybody because of course nobody really had to see it whereas now you know I mean my room's at the top of the stairs you know this this craft room is at the top of the stairs so I mean of course it's the first thing you see when you come up the stairs so I mean I don't want to be you know making it a complete tip because um yeah it would not be very nice as you come up the stairs so um yeah I'm going to try my very best to um yeah to keep it a bit tidier really so yeah but yeah, and thank you so much for everyone who's given such awesome tips and, um, you know, really great ideas for other ways of storing things. I really, really appreciate it because, you know, it's quite funny, isn't it? But often you don't necessarily think of things and then other people say things and you're like, oh, brilliant idea. You know, I would never have thought of that. So I know that one of the ideas that came out, and I do apologise because I can't remember who said what um, ideas. And, you know, I've not replied, of course, to, you know, most of the comments. But I have read, you know, very many of them so far, um, even if I haven't commented back. Um, but I know that one of the um, comments was how to store my stencils. And I know that Deb over at Artsology, that does ring a bell because obviously I kind of know Deb. Um you know because she also has a youtube channel so that kind of sticks in my head um you know obviously that it was her she had suggested my stencils going in a folder um you know like a ring bound folder and i thought that was a brilliant idea um but i was a bit concerned whether once they were in the folder actually they would just stay in the folder and i would then not really kind of ever get them out and then somebody else and this is um who i can't remember so i do apologize but they just came up with this brilliant idea and said you know hang them on a hook on the wall and I thought well that's such an obvious solution because they're obviously hung up at the moment on my pegboard exactly that's that's what's going on they're hung up now why did I not translate that to take them off of the pegboard and hang them directly on the wall because obviously that would free up that space on the pegboard for some more of those little containers that I was saying about and of course um you know they would still be hung up which is of course what I quite like about them being on the pegboard 
So yeah, I mean, sometimes you just need somebody else to kind of come in and sort of suggest it, don't you? Because the most obvious things just completely pass you by, you know, because you're obviously in the room, you know, looking at it constantly, it's easy to then kind of, um, yeah, not really notice, I suppose, or not think of the most obvious things. So yeah, thank you so much for that suggestion. Absolutely brilliant. And of course, yeah, <laughs> that's just, well, perfect idea. Don't know why it hadn't occurred to me, you know, but yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to definitely do that because I did really like Deb's idea, like I say, but I just thought for me, I think I would end up not really using my stencils at all if they were, you know, just put away in a folder. That to me just equates to out of sight, you know, just never be seen again. Um, so yeah, I think having them just hung on like a hook somewhere would work really, really well for me. So, and I know that I did say in the videos, you know, I think hooks are just really brilliant to have in the, in the craft room. You know, I love having everything kind of on hooks so that I can see it from a glance. Um, I think they're, you know, they're one of my favourite things to, to use is hooks. So yeah, brilliant idea. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so really ap appreciate that. And thank you so much to everyone who said they really enjoyed looking around because, you know, kind of obviously there was a lot to see. And, you know, I know that it did go over like three parts in the end, which I thought, oh gosh, I'm probably like, you know, killing everyone with, you know, boredom watching just day after day of looking around my craft room. But I mean, obviously, there, you know, there's a lot to see. So, um, it, you know, it genuinely took kind of like three videos because they were quite kind of exhausting videos to film, if you know what I mean, because obviously, you know, filming one handed, trying to show everything and, you know, talking through. I didn't want to kind of condense it into like one video because I thought it would be too much to film and too much to watch, you know. Um, so, yeah, but thank you so much because honestly, everyone was so kind and, you know, touch wood. I think everyone actually really did enjoy looking through and looking around the craft room. So, um, yeah, that's really, really appreciated. And I'm so thrilled, um, you know, that touch wood, you did all really really enjoy having a look around so obviously I've still got my unboxing of my new camera set up to um put up so that will be going up at some point you know the next few days um obviously we did the you know the artwork for my craft room which I know I'm just like laughable really because like I said in the video I mean as if I really needed anything else in here but you know those picture frames they were just they were redundant you know once my son no longer needed them it was kind of like oh he doesn't need them and I just thought well I can't just throw them away what a waste you know so I thought oh I'm not going to throw them away I'm just going to make some you know some cute pictures to put up in the uh in my craft room so yeah obviously you know it's always fun to just do something different isn't it so yeah hope that um everyone kind of enjoyed you know those as well did they see the um, Inspire picture? Uh, the Inspire picture I'd done, you know, on my own. Um, but I did show that in the, you know, in my craft tour. But yeah, that one with the Flower Fairy, we did together. So we did that on video. So yeah, they're really fun pictures, aren't they? And I've still got another frame, actually. So I mean, touch wood, you know, when I get time, I will do another picture Which one do you like better? to have in here. Um, like but it's just kind of time. You like the one with the flower fairy best, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, probably I do too. Flower fairy? I thought she was a strawberry fairy. Yeah, she's like a strawberry fairy, isn't she? But yeah, so um, with that other frame that I've got left, I'll do another one. Um, you know, and hopefully something, you know, completely different again. Because uh, the two pictures that I've done so far, they are very different to each other. So, yeah, hopefully do kind of another completely different one. What have we been up to? So I'm just trying to think. Oh, yes, we went to see um, the new top, oh, top Gun movie. So the Top Gun 2 movie. And, um, oh, it was such a good movie. Um, yeah, often they obviously ruin things, don't they, when it's like a, you know, second one or... You know, heaven forbid, when they do like a third one and things, they often get just really bad, don't they? Like, it was really, really, really good. And um, 
I mean, I would actually even go as far as to say I perhaps preferred it to the first one. Um, yeah, hard to say, but definitely liked it equally to the first one. So, yeah, if you haven't seen it, but you'll, you know, you get the opportunity, it's well worth going to see. So, it was really, really good. And, um, yeah, obviously a bit of a love story tangled in there, you know, which, of course, we all like to see, don't we? So, yeah, there was a bit of that. And, um, you know, Tom Cruise, I have to say, you know, I kind of go in and out with Tom Cruise. Sometimes I think, oh, you know, Tom Cruise. Well. But, hey, he looked, he looked quite nice in this one. And, you know, I also Googled his age. He's, I think, I think it said 59, which I think is the same age as Brad Pitt if I recall, because we talked about that a couple of weeks ago. And um, yeah, so let's face it, they're, they're holding out pretty well, aren't they? So, <laughs> yep. So yeah, he looked quite nice in it. And oh, the bad news of this week. Right. Oh, I feel horrified to even be talking about this, to be honest. So my son, so I'd gone with my two boys, you know, we went to see Top Gun 2. And um, yeah, we went to see that. And of course, when we come home, you know, my eldest son was kind of saying, oh, didn't Tom Cruise look so cool on his motorbike? Oh, I'm going to get a motorbike. He did get a motorbike, I saw. Oh, well, you've spoiled the punchline now, haven't you, missus? <laughs> so, yep, as you've just heard now. Yep, he said, oh, I'm going to get a um, motorbike now, you know, like Tom Cruise. And it was like, oh, seriously, why would you do that? You know, how dangerous can you get? But of course, because Tom Cruise looks so cool on his motorbike, you know, my son obviously thought that he would like to look that way. I did try and say, well, hang on, he looks extra cool because, of course, you know, he wasn't wearing a helmet or anything. I mean, I don't know. I don't know whether it's not law over there. Um, I mean, yeah, it, you know, over here you have to wear a crash helmet. And so, you know, of course, that doesn't look quite as cool when you're wearing a crash helmet as it does when you're, you know, going around and you are Tom Cruise, let's face it. Um, but yeah, he was like, oh, I really want to get a motorbike. And, you know, I just said, oh, don't be so ridiculous. You know, I didn't really think that he would say any more about it. So on Saturday, um, oh, he'd gone out with his friend, you know, and yeah, just kind of went out. I didn't really know where he was going, but you know, just that was fine. And it got to about seven o'clock in the evening and he suddenly came home and said, oh, mum, come outside and have a look at this. And you know when you just get that sick feeling of dread. I just looked at him and I said, I hope you're joking. I hope this isn't what I think it is. Sure enough. What's that noise? Oh. Would you be able to pick that up for me, sweetie, please? Um, sure enough, he bought a motorbike. So needless to say, not very impressed by that at all. So, um, yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Sorry about this. Sorry about that. It's just my mum and dad. So my daughter's just um, taking that out, out of the room. So, um, yeah. Anyway, not impressed, I have to say. Um, right. I'm going to probably leave those two for um, decorating and kind of finishing off in slow time. Oh, three, actually, because, um, yeah, I'm running out of time now. Not sure how many or how long I've been filming because I've stopped the film a couple of times. But we've done one, two, three four, five, six, and then I've got another three there to do. So let's decorate one up because we always like to decorate one up. So, yep. Now I've brought along some book pages um, and the main reason why I've done this is because I'm hopefully going to be putting some more book pages um, in my shop later on this week, I'm hoping. Now I will try and put a, um, you know, maybe like a shorts video up if I put them in you know, when I put them in, I'll try and coincide it and put a shorts video so that you can see that they're in there. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm going to get those in there. I'm kind of currently, you know, in the process of assembling them. Obviously, they take a little while to, you know, compile and put together. And then they take a little while to list and things and take a bit to, um, to do the video. So yeah, I'm hoping they're going to go in my shop this week. But, you know, just keep your eye out because they will hopefully be in there in the not too distant future if you are you know if you have been wanting um you know the book page um bundles i mean again they will be in packs of like 80 book pages and they will be a complete um what's the word you know random mix i can't you know guarantee the type that you're going to get or anything like that 
they will just be an eclectic mix and it will be you know on a potluck basis as to what particular bundle that you actually get um but they will be from eight different books one. and um they will be 10 pages from each book yeah so you'll get a total of 80 pages um and they will be i think it's ten dollars um it could be ten pounds i just can't remember which i do apologize but obviously the details will be in the listing and obviously also if i do a shorts video it will be there um but yeah so i've also been doing that over the last couple of days putting those um bundles together so fingers crossed they will be so i just thought that i would use one of the birds um because i've got lots of bird pages in the bundles that i've done so far Again, I must quickly just reiterate, you know, there's no guarantee because obviously they will be a potluck basis. And so, you know, it's not guaranteed you're going to get birds, um, you know, but hopefully I will try and incorporate birds of some form in every bundle. But yeah, I guess that's not a guarantee. Um, but yeah, hopefully you'd get a really good, good eclectic mix of book pages to use. Um yeah, anyway, I was very annoyed with my son. Just, you know, what was he thinking, to be honest? But, hey, I mean, he's 19. What can you do? You can't, you know, you can't stop them, can you? So, uh, yeah, he's he's done it now. And uh, just have to just keep my fingers crossed that he's going to be safe, really. So, but, oh, I was cross. But he just said, oh, Mum, come on, this is, like, the most excited I've felt, like, for ages, you know. So I said, well... <gasps> What can you possibly say? You know, yes, you can, darling. I'm gonna make like I'm gonna put it on this page. I'm gonna cut it like I'm gonna cut the page out with a little square, and it's gonna be like a mirror. You know that? Oh no, I've just torn this. Sorry. It's gonna be like. Oh, sorry about this. Yeah, um, sorry. Do you know? Uh, do you know like the princess who oh, goes mirror, just... mirror on the wall? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like put a message in there with the glue. Oh and yeah. Put a on it. And it's going to be like glittery words. Good idea. That does sound like a good idea. Right. Okay. Okie dokie. Right. So, yeah, I think I'm going to just have a bit of lace on there. And that teacup, because, my goodness, doesn't that just go so brilliantly? And the teacup's just from my... Um, oh, I think it's the spring tea. I think it's called spring tea i haven't used that kit for a while now so now i'm struggling to remember but yeah doesn't it go brilliantly with these green papers and that bird this is obviously a label from my labels kit but the three things together you know the bird the label and the teacup you know on that green background page just goes brilliantly doesn't it even though i know weird weird mix having the teacup with the the label and the bird but it does look good, doesn't it? It says you are. Oh, so cute. It says you are. Okay. Now, my daughter and I, we've been very busy, haven't we, doing the wax seals lately. So, um, yeah, we were a bit kind of hooked on making wax seals. I've got like seven already. Yeah, she's got loads. She really loves them. But, yeah, I've been saying for ages that I wanted to do, you know, a bunch of wax seals to use. And... I just never really kind of got around to doing them. But yeah, I've finally done some. Oh, I was going to put one on here, but actually they're all a bit big. Hmm. I haven't got one that's right, the, you know, quite the right colour. This one is a bit smaller, but of course it's blue. So yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. But that's a bit of a shame because I would have quite liked to have had a wax seal on there. Um, but yeah, let's just see if we can have some bling on there instead. So. You always love bling. I just oh, can't help bling. myself. Yeah. I help myself. So, do we need them? What if you have like a message? Like, yes. do you know in your words box, you're under it, you can like put like some a bling on it, and then it could say like something. Mm, yeah. Should I do? Well, who doesn't love bling? Mm, who doesn't, indeed? Oh, let's see how it turns right, out. Right. Well. Let's just quickly. Let's see how my you are turns out. I don't think so she has glittered a you are with her glue and glitter. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Right. There we go. Yay! 
It worked. Did it? Oh, let's have a look. Oh, I should show show that. So she's just glittered you are on this little tag piece that was laying around. Cute. So very cute. That looks really good. Clever girl. Leave that to dry now because you don't want anything touching it. It'll get ruined. Right, so that is probably it. I'm just going to pull in a journal page to show you how that would look. Um, I've got a couple of journals here that I'm waiting to do a flip through of. So I'll just quickly pull one of those in. Um, okay, I'm just going to pull this one in. As I say, I haven't done flip throughs yet of these journals, but yeah, there will be a flip through. Hopefully, well, hopefully I'll film it this week, but. Who knows when it will go up. Oops. Okay. Let's quickly open that. Right. And yeah, let's just quickly. So that would just go on a page like that. And you'd obviously glue it. You know, say you glued it on three sides there. You could then, like I said earlier, have potentially a pocket in this side. And you'd have then a pocket here and a pocket here. Or, of course, you could glue it on those three sides. And you'd have then a pocket there. A pocket there and a pocket there. You could even do it on those three sides and have a top loading, top loading pocket. You know, you've got different options anyway. So um, yeah, I hope that you like them. I mean, I think they're just really nice pockets to be honest. And again, just like all these things, they look really quite sophisticated and very roomy, but they're just a you know five minute thing. So uh, yeah, I hope you like them. Really hope everyone has a lovely week and um, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much then. Bye.